Thank mm-hmm. you. 
I'm Robert Smith. Thanks very much for listening to my second video about Lira Vial music. You heard four pieces from the Manchester Lira Vial manuscript in the set of eights tuning. I spoke about this manuscript in my previous video, so I'd like to talk a little bit about the tuning and why it's one of my favourites. Eights is what I call an old tuning, which means it was common at the start of the 17th century. That suggests that some of the pieces you just heard may have already been 50 years old by the time this manuscript was compiled later on in the century. Most later Lyra Vial pieces were written for a tuning with a two octave span, or D, to D. Eight, however, is much wider than that, and I'm going to show you how to do it. This file is right now in normal tuning at 415. To get eight tuning, the lowest strings have to go quite a way down, so to make the lowest strings a little less slack, I'm going to start by tuning the top string as high as it will go without breaking, which on this instrument, because it's quite big, is only a semitone. You could get more out of a smaller instrument. And from there, you just go fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth. And then you see why it's called a set of eights. In eights tuning, the top strings are relatively tense while the low strings are quite loose. Now, in an ideal world, we change our strings for each different Lyravile tuning so that we have the perfect tension and the perfect setup. I think in the 17th century, players would have kept the same strings on their instrument. And that means that the string feels different in each tuning because the tension changes. These challenges, I think, are part of the sport of playing the Lyra Vial. Eighths tuning gives the vial a really wide range, and this makes it interesting not only in terms of colour differences, but also because of its polyphonic possibilities. And I think this was something which was especially interesting to polyphonic composers like William Corkeen and Alfonso Ferrobosco early on in the century. I think it's no coincidence that eighths tuning went out of fashion as taste in England moved away from polyphonic music and towards more homophonic styles. If you have any thoughts on this, I'd love to hear them, so put them in the comments section. Like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.